Rough Rider. That's what we're doing today. What are you doing? It's an, uh, <laughs> he's been road rough. This is Guys Talk Knives, and we're talking Rough Rider knives today. That was with Teddy Roosevelt, <laughs> Sam Juan Hill, dang it. Disapproving. <laughs> I mean, it's like herding cats sometimes. <laughs> Look, it is literally no, like herding no. cats. Have you ever the had question a herd of cats? was. I have, and a pack of cows. <laughs> did you herd the cows with the cats? I did. <laughs> What's amazing is getting the cats to obey hand signals, like they're on a SEAL team. Mine <laughs> Because is... they never look at you? <laughs> <laughs> but they... <laughs> and they're going, <laughs> Welcome to Guys Talk Knives. We're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, SMKW.com, the world's largest <laughs> knife store. We're gonna talk rough riders today. And cats. All and cats. Of course, cats. cats. We always talk cats. This should we be do. guys talk knives and cats. <laughs> we we, we have forgotten again our snack rule. We're gonna remember this at some point. And just start bringing snacks snack. every show. Oh, I don't know the what y'all talking about. Needs. I have. I brought two I drinks know. and yogurt. That's true. <laughs> yogurt is not a snack. Hand me that. Me, no, no. Me that. no, 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 no. They need no, to no. see the glory. Yogurt of is this. not a snack. Yes, it is. It's the yogurt. Snickers. I think we need to bring. The noisiest snacks we can find until John chips. says no. <laughs> chips and bugles, bugles, <laughs> maybe Corn potato chips. sticks. Uh, funyuns. I funyuns. love funyuns. Funyuns are great until you realize you've the... curved out the whole roof of your mouth. Yes, and they hurt. Yes. Kind of like Sour Patch Kids. You eat a whole bag. I got the. It was like I can't even remember how much it was, but the bag was about this big. Ate the whole thing. It was one Sour Patch Kid. It was. <laughs> you, you ate, ate it Actual head down. Actual size. That's right. It's like, well, my little Sour Patch Kid is missing an arm now, I but was, I love him. I, take I the always arms start off. with their eyeballs. That's I right. take the arms off first, and then the feet, and then the head. I just like rip it off, and I'm like, I don't know what that says about me, but yeah, psycho. That's what yeah. it says. <laughs> the cool thing <laughs> is, everything on this table you can get and still get your Sour Patch Kids and all your snacks because and you can cut the heads off with them. We're talking Rough Rider, and everything is budget friendly for sure. Very affordable. Uh, yes, indeed. Also. Just get it straight out of the way so we don't have to say anything. Everything here is built by hand and backed for, for life, life, which means it's a lifetime warranty, and we back that warranty. Yep. So this is Smoky Mountain Knife Works brand. Do so we you ask break this. questions? What? Do we ask questions? Did we ask questions? I said, do we ask questions? And for the rough send their stuff for in? the warranty. Uh, I, you know, we're gonna ask some questions to figure out what's going on so we no, can no, help she's them. Meaning oh, a no questions asked warranty? Wait, but, but do we ask questions? I'm curious about uh, our stories too. We certainly <laughs> ask questions. Yeah, just mainly because it's interesting. Yeah, that's about what I'm random saying. things I wanna, like cats. Sure. I want to know what the How's story your cat? is. If you send me a, if you, if someone sent in a knife, all right, let's say they like bent this like all the way over. I want to know the story. What were you doing? Right. It probably was something you weren't supposed to be doing, but I bet it was funny. So here's the thing, and you need to keep this in mind. If they send this back to us and they've bent it in half, it's not covered in the warranty. Why? Yes. Because that's not a defect in the product. That's a yeah. defect that's in the true. use. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of true. If they do not what stick I this in and bend it up, and they open a can of paint with their knife, That'd and they break the tip it. off, then I'm just going to resharpen that knife and it has a new tip. Well, you know what's great about <laughs> Rough Rider? You can get like 17 more, and it's still <laughs> only like 10. It's like, what, 100 bucks? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Let's, that. let's jump into these because we've got some cool stuff to look at, yes, including this year's Christmas knife. Oh, I'll always love our Christmas knife from Rough Rider. Let's show the box first because Please. I think people don't know this about this knife. You can get this thing and just stick it under the tree. This is a magnetic clasp box. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Come like that. It's got the back on it with the pretty Christmas tree. We always you know. have pretty boxes. Whoever did that, just talented. <laughs> so now they're just messing with me. Just talented. Because they know I did the box. Yeah, exactly. Um, this is probably like the third or fourth year we've done a lenticular design. Lenticular. Uh, yeah. Oh, and lenticular that. means that this picture on here, it's a little hard to see, but it changes as mm -hmm. you turn it back and forth. And there are two pictures on this thing. On the front, uh, you get closer to Santa's Rudolph sleigh there. It can changes I, from Merry Christmas to Happy Holidays. Can I ask a behind the scenes question? Sure. How hard is that to do from your perspective? Because uh, I, I know you're the one who actually puts that yeah. piece together. <laughs> what I mean, What do you do, do to you make want, that happen? Do you want how hard it would be if it was just me doing it? Or do you want to know how hard <laughs> it is when we have to go through the committee? I mean, I mean, no, 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 no. I don't need to know that. But I mean, do you just send the two images? No, e each side has two images. So, so you this send, is a you two, send two for this one, and then if they we go back down to two, warehouse. John. We but see. how do they do that? You're literally okay. So let's is, come back up here, like, John. And I'll, we'll, let's we'll say it's like, it's like this, and you have like little little bumpies, and then like on this side the bumps, it's like one picture, and the other side it's the other picture. So whenever no. you turn it, no. Well, that's the only way it made sense okay, in my head. So <laughs> the picture I believe is split 
in slices. That's what I just said. Okay. Yes. And so then you have what are like triangle shapes. So if you were to lay this like this, it is, I'm telling you, triangles. I just said it. Bumpies. Yeah. Bumpies. It has bumpies. But when you look this way, you can only see through okay. to those. And when you turn it the other way, you can only oh, very see cool. through to the That was just curious as to how that, that process no, works. For me, it's just really two pictures. They do all the hard work there. Very cool. They're that doing looks the actual lenticular though. part of that. Yeah. Um, lenticular? So on the front, you have uh, Rudolph, Santa, lenticular. and his sleigh. Mm -hmm. Lenticular. What does that mean? It means bumpies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and on the Very back, funny. this is kind of cool too. If you look, the uh, tr the Christmas tree lights up brighter. Yeah, that's so cool. See, the Christmas tree is lit. Now it's off. So lit. with this knife, Aww. along with with the two different lenticular sides, you actually have four <laughs> different images on this knife. Two on each side. Four forty eight stainless steel blades with half stops, match strike pulls, and they're are they both frost etched? Yes, both frost etched on the blades on the spay and the clip. Yep. Uh, the acrylic candles, of course, feature full-color lenticular Christmas images. Uh, images change as you turn the knife back and forth. The front handle features Santa and Rudolph. When turned, Rudolph's nose lights up and the Christmas uh, the Christmas message changes. The back handle features beautiful Christmas tree. When turned, the Christmas tree lights up and the Christmas message changes. This is a full-size traditional trapper pattern with nickel silver slant art bolsters and brass pins and liners. And, of course, it comes in the decorative magnetic clasp collector's box. How many sides does that thing got? Because the more you turn it, the more it changes again. <laughs> and we've lost That's swag. That's weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> she's she's going to be she's here locked in. doing this. Locked into it's the like those old school well, look, 3D Look, it prints. starts. It's, okay, we have happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. What is it? 17 it's sides. basically just a bunch of lines, so you're seeing another angle of the same triangle each time. I don't believe Merry you. Merry holidays, happy Christmas. That's it in there too. It is what it is. Look at that. The killer thing is, this yeah. thing's only 13 bucks. It's 13 bucks, yeah. That's, third That's cool. <laughs> Great Christmas gift. Uh, these move really, really fast. Yep. So if you want one, you need to get it now. Can you I just slow one? down however you turn it, and they don't move fast at all. They don't move fast at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> Love the etch on this. Makes a terrific present. And again, like Andy mentioned, the box is, is amazing. So you have this, this beautiful Christmas package as well. So if you don't like to wrap, or you wrap to shape the way that I do, mm -hmm. you don't have to wrap this mm -hmm. one yeah. little bit. That is the Christmas knife this year from Rough Rock. Yep, 2019 or you Christmas could, knife. You could be like me. I would put it in like a gigantic box that is not for that, and then like put a weight in there, make people think they got something really big, and they open up, what is this? They're like, no. Nope. It's a rough See, that takes too much time. I wrap to shape. Bottle of wine, wrap to shape. <laughs> Paper on the bottom, you pull it up, you tie the top, big piece of tape, you're done. If it was a bottle of wine, I would totally try to make it look like a like a vacuum cleaner nope, if I could. it's like a bottle of wine. Want to look like a vacuum cleaner? Why would I get a vacuum cleaner? Oh, it's a bottle of wine. So, uh, uh, like it's gloves a and vacuum socks cleaner full of wine. Gloves and socks are fun. Wrap into shape. Oh, jeez. No boxes. <laughs> That'll do it. I just throw it in there, fingers. roll it up. Yep. Do it like candy. It's amazing. Roll it up and then just put a little ribbon on each side. Uh, piece of tape. Top it off. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Let's talk silver and black. <laughs> Love that knife. Black I wanted to make silver? sure that we had more than just traditionals on the yes. table because Rough Rider has become more than traditionals. Oh, that's for uh, sure. This is the Rough Rider silver and black. Oh, silver and black <laughs> frame lock. Silver. <laughs> black and silver, silver and black. Black and silver. Whatever. 2.87 inch dual right finish white. black and black and brushed finish. 448 drop point <laughs> blade. Well, wow, that's wow. hard to say. Dual finish black and brush finish. 448 drop point blade uh, with a. It's 0.11 inch. 0.11 inch. inch blade thickness. Manual flipper frame lock black and brush finish stainless steel handles. Tip up pocket clip 3.7 inches closed. 6.6 inches overall weighs 3.5 ounces. I think I like black and brush better than black and silver. Black and brush. Work. Black, Black and, and brush. brush. And it's 10 bucks. It's 10 bucks. I was and actually surprised movement. when I got this one. And if you all out there have gotten Rough Rider um, flippers and folders and that stuff in the past, the modern side of it, there's been an evolution that's oh, happened. Oh, for sure, yeah. There's been an evolution that's come along. These used to be pretty darn rough to do. That mm -hmm. is sweet Super action fast. right there. Yeah. We are, the learning curve is changing and changing sure. quick for Rough Rider. I love it. I the like the click on it. Hear that? You, you can just emphasize stuff. <laughs> Is that like racket a shotgun? It's like an exclamation point. If you wanted to, if you wanted to uh, vocalize your punctuation. Andy, flick. It's like this. Do not wrap to shape. Wrap to shape. <laughs> Always wrap to shape. <laughs> 
Uh, that thing right there is how much again? Ten that bucks. Thing. Ten bucks. That thing right there. That thing that right thing. there. That thing. It feels good in your hand. It does. Um, it, it sits well, and it looks really, really good. I like it. It's very modern looking. Yeah. Goes with anything. It's a thing. It's a, it's a nice. Put it in your pocket as an EDC, cut boxes open, that kind of stuff. Ten bucks. It's a nice beefy frame lock, too. Yeah. Got somebody you want to get into carrying a knife? Yeah. Or you want to move somebody from traditional to more modern? Give it a flick. It's a good option. And it's $10. Mm -hmm. So someone's... buy three or four. <laughs> or not? buy 10 and get priority mail free shipping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> 10 bucks. Yeah. Pushing products. Did you say? Pushing I'm pushing products. products. Pushing products. Okay, question Anyways. for you guys. Yes. If you're going to give someone their first knife. Now, I know when you gave me my first knife, it was a assisted opener. Yes. Would you always stick with me giving it to someone with an assisted opener, or would you give them a manual flipper? Uh, it depends on how easy it is to make the manual flipper work. This one I would give to somebody just fine. It oh, works yeah. really, really easily. Yeah. Um, I would definitely show them how to use it, how but it works. An artisan? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. CJRB. Uh-huh. Yeah. If you really like a Marie, <laughs> you gotta really, really <laughs> like really them. If somebody gave that to you as your first it's night, a heck of a like, starter. No, it's it's especially just, if you're just not responsible enough to have a Marie. Especially if you as didn't the first know night. anything, and you were like, "Let me cut here on this concrete." Yeah. Speaking of which, yes. So I gave the the Kenzie, uh -huh. the poker, yeah, to my buddy Daniel, uh -huh. and uh, he lost it, and then uh, he found it. Is three still, weeks later. Is he still your buddy, Daniel? He is. He found it three <laughs> weeks later. He actually texted me, Dude, I found my knife. Nice. He left it in the bathroom. <laughs> in his own bathroom? Yes. How do you lose something for that long in your bathroom? <laughs> Just telling you. Just fell out of his pocket, probably behind the toilet. Yeah. He's back there scrubbing. He's like, Oh, my knife. My can't see. He probably right got it stolen at work. He was very sad. <laughs> it is sad when you think you've lost yeah. a knife. Yeah. I yeah, find them, like, uh, I'll end up leaving them clip clipped inside my pocket and pull off the pants and yes. then eventually find them in the hamper or somewhere else. I did that once and I was, uh, like, truth. trying to, like, pick all my stuff up real quick and that knife was in there that had some weight and it went over my back. I was like, oh, what was that? <laughs> She went. <laughs> it's bad when you flip it like that and you hear that ga -dum, ga -dum, ga -dum, across the room. Like, oh, that was my knife. That was my knife. That was my knife. But I do love that. That's a great first time EDC or just an everyday carry that everyday you don't have to carry. worry about. Yeah. You lose this your one, you're, it's not a big deal. It's 10 no. bucks. Do you need a knife for your backpack? Throw it in there. Let's jump into this it's next great. one because I, it's funny how this one happened. So, a lot of times we're trying to find new series. Uh, to do different bone handles. That's the hardest part in traditionals is finding new patterns, new I'm series, sure. uh, all things to do, and how many different ways you can do bone handles and that kind of stuff. Yeah. We did a series called the Bolster Stripe series. Sure. And that series, if you look at this one, John, right here, it just had bolster stripes. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Kevin and I were looking at another set and we're looking at um, saw cut bone. Like, <laughs> I said, hey, can can you make those all the stripes go one way, not in circular motion? He's like, yeah, let's do an all stripe series. I like, and it. so that's how that's born. So yeah, you, that's you great. That's how that stripes, was born. You get stripes on the bolsters and stripes that match across no, the entire cool, bone though. handle. Hit the highlights of this one. It's got 440A stainless steel blades, half stops, match strike pulls, genuine brown bone handle. Oh, well, don't move it. Brown bone handles with vertical stripe jigging. Nickel silver pins and shield, nickel silver bolsters, and a vertical stripes. Brass liners, it's 1 16th of an inch thick, and it's 3.75 inches closed. There you go. But so, any bomb, I don't think I would be able to read like amazing. that again. So, <laughs> were you amazing her reading? Yes. I was proud yes, that I read all that. Out. She was great. You know where I went John, I did want to show one thing mm. while we're down here. If, if you haven't noticed on all of these um, different Rough Riders, there's the swedging. Mm -hmm. And they happen on all the blades. That is a mark of a high-end traditional, and yep. uh, this happened a lot on your old uh, Shad and Morgans, your old IXLs, and all of that. It used to be the thing to do, and that went away sometime <clears throat> when we got into modders. Rough Rider has brought that back. So not only do you have the half stops that are like that, and a half stop, right? I hate with that open pink yep. right there, right there. You've also got the match drive pulls. 440A is going to stay sharp for a good long time, and it's easy to sharpen up. Why is it called a Love sow it. belly? Why is it called a sow belly? That is a good question. Do you see the little belly right there? It's like a pig's belly. Yep. It's uh, a sow. This is actually a sow belly stockman. Or a stockman. And so a stockman normally would be more slender, 
and uh-huh. lean. A sow belly has a fat belly on it. And as we talked about, usually the, the stockman is serpentine. A little yeah, bit, and correct? this is serpentine as well. Yeah. You can see it. yeah. But this is serpentine with a sow belly instead of just that little You've bit of a You've got a deep a belly that yeah. goes across the bottom of this. I love the way that looks. I had no idea that's why it was all striped. And that is a that's fantastic. Yeah, we did the bolster stripe really like series. The way yeah. it feels though. It is love a the it way is a it very feels. nice traditional pocket knife. Well, what's great is that whenever you do this kind of stuff, like even with this one, it looks nice, but it gives you grip. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, Completely. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's four man function kind of all together. Just the walk and talk on that thing. Close it up near the love microphone. It. I don't reach up. Yep. Yeah. There's the snap of that spring. Here's I'd say it has a decent pull on it. It's not like hard as heck to get open. No, no, definitely about a, not. About a five, maybe a four. Uh, it is not weak at all. Are you wanting to cut something? You are such a problem child. Oh, yes, Here we yes. go. Do it. We shall Let's see. Let's see if she can do it. There you Here go. we go. Can we do Hey, this that's is what three. Swags does at night. That. She sits around the house making confetti. She has redeemed Oh herself. my god. You don't understand. I woke up the other morning and I didn't realize the mess that I had made. I was I brought a stick inside and I was just kind of <laughs> there was wood chips everywhere. I woke up to my father like, Savannah, what is going on? <laughs> what is this? Bring the stick Clean inside. this up. Because it was cold outside. Just go whittle into a fire pit. I'm no, I was cold. I'm going inside no. with my fussy blanket. That's funny. <laughs> so like you said fussy. I know I, I know you said fuzzy, but I heard fuzzy as well. Fuzzy. This is my fussy, my blanket. fussy blanket. I also said nickel. 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 I, so I do adore the way that feels. And, oh God, it just feels so good in your hand. Genuine bone handles. Great. Nickel silver everywhere. 440A price point, Jason. Is 13 bucks. $13. You hear that? And this one yeah. also comes with the box. Telling you. We have really nice boxes. Thank you. What are you giggling at over there? <laughs> She's out of the control. box. We're going to put the her down. Box. Love it. What's in the box? Well, in this case, it's a sub box stock. So Nothing's these in actually see, come nothing. in these boxes. You can do yep. these. Like that. See that? They have a very nice display box. Other nice thing is you don't have to worry about when this is shipped. <gasps> anything touching <gasps> your knife. Don't break the box. Your knife is in there Breaking all the nice and snug. <coughs> snug as a bug in a rug. That's right. Sow Belly Stockman, All Stripe Series. There are two patterns in that series right now. There will be more. And while I love that one, this oh. is becoming my favorite. I'm going to be very sad when all of these are gone. Buckshot so you know. Boone. Yeah. And this is a different little Buckshot Boone. Yes, it's indeed. also a Sow Belly Trapper. It is. it is a Sow Belly <laughs> Trapper, not a Stockman. Mm-hmm. It's a little Sow Belly. It's still a Sow Belly. Look. Look at the difference. Yep. So see how this one down here is serpentine? No, um, I, don't, I don't know what that means. Like a snake? It goes like an S. Oh. Serpentine. And then the sow belly trapper that is above it, it's so hard to do that in the monitor, is just bent. It yeah. is not serpentine. So one's fat and one's... They're both fat. Pretend On an fat. episode, I'd like to have a bow trapper next to the sow belly. The bow trapper bows a lot more. It bows a lot a, more. Yes. But I never had thought about it till literally right now. I'd yeah. like to see the two side by side. Yep. And the Sow Belly Trapper is a little bit shorter. It's a little bit shorter. Well, yeah. while you got down there, all the knives in the Rough Rider Buckshot Bone Series feature genuine bone handles with buckshot texture and red underliners. Whoa. It's 440A stainless steel blades with frosted blade edge, half stops, match strike pulls, and heavy swedging. It's a nickel, it has the nickel silver slant R bolsters and the Rough Rider 20 Year Shield. Each uh-huh. knife comes with a decorative magnetic clasp collector's box. Why? Did you yes. hear that? That stopped working yes, there for a second. Yes, they do. <laughs> the, my, my mouth. There's the buckshot <laughs> bone box right there. Yep. It's an eighth of an inch thick and is three and seven eighths inch closed. Yes. So a standard trapper is four and an eighth, mm-hmm. and this is three and seven eighths, right? Three and seven eighths? Yeah. 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 So it's just a, a teensy tiny bit, bit shorter. Nine yeah. and three quarters. But look at the girth on those blades. God, it's amazing. Girth. We'll close down that spay one because you don't like spaying things. I don't. Do you like spaying things? No. That's mean. Have you ever spayed no. anything? I have not. There you go. You don't know. Maybe you do. I guess I could. Have you got to cut them off things? real no. high? You stop it. What? Here. No, I, I love that though. I, this I like series, the colors on it. Yeah. This one in particular has a lot of really good character on the I back. I know it does. I think it is the first one that we ended up doing underliners with, and when yeah. we saw that come in, we were like, oh, we're doing Lost. this on a lot of stuff right now. It, they just look so good. 
It's we're Rough Riders the only people blood. doing that right now. You're putting an underliner underneath bone. And it's another one traditional and it makes it pop and it looks so good. And yet again, you have the handle. Really yeah. pretty. Good texture. Yep. Pretty that texture. one right there is good for your hand fruit. It would be good for your hand fruit. Mm -hmm. I don't see any of these on here that wouldn't be good for a hand fruit. That's true. That's probably mm -hmm. true. Yeehaw. This one does look good <laughs> in your hand though. I like the way it feels. That the buckshot bone again. Right now, it's, I keep it watching Jimmy pick. Slash do that. Try to close it oh, up. Oh, he's scary. He is scares me to death when he does that. He just scares terrifying. me to death. That walk and talk is just yeah. mm, so snappy. nice and snappy. Price point on this bad boy: fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks. That's the highest price thing we've done so far. Yeah. Crazy. Fifteen crazy bucks for that day. tradition. Just crazy. <laughs> And again, you have, you find a defect on this, you have a problem with it. When you get it, send it back to us. Yeah, we'll get it fixed. We'll get it fixed. We'll get it fixed or send you a new one. One or the other. Probably just send you a new one. I did have to find a fixed blade. Yes. <sighs> Love, this so this. Love this one. What is this one? The Rough Rider Timberland Hunter. Yes, Timberlands. Lens. Very Timberlands. reminiscent of a Kephart. Yes. Yeah. Very, very reminiscent of a Kephart. It has a four inch, 440A drop point blade that is a 0.14 inches thick. It's got the full tank construction, carved wood handle, double rivets, a lanyard hole, black, black nylon bell sheath. Yes. It's 8.3 inches overall, 4.3 inches. That's the handle length. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it weighs eight ounces. Yes. Yep. It's like a steak. It's a. Catch your <laughs> steak with a steak. You could. Yeah. I like how this one feels in hand. I know Greg up in the office. EDC's one of these on his hip. Yeah, that's that was his project knife. And uh, Jared's uh, pro Jared's like version of this yes. is awesome. It has a McCarty handle. Yeah, Greg carries one on his hip. Yeah. Uh, uh, because those screws on that handle, Jared took his handles off and, yep. and put on his disco handles. Disco. He did. <laughs> and did some foul work on it too. He did. Yeah. We need to bring that in and make it make everybody look at it. Yes. It's nice. Yeah. I really like that. Well, I don't want to tease too much, but we might have some more things coming that are similar to that. Sweet. What? You want to try to cut with that? It's either that or stab. Did you learn how to cut paper? I don't know what's happening. Telling you, she sits around at night. There's no Dude, piece of paper. Dude, that's the, um, yeah. <laughs> Rough gnarly. Riders are razor sharp right out of right the box. Out of the box. <laughs> uh, if you don't know, all of us in this room have been bit <laughs> at least once by a Rough Rider. I have not been bit by a Rough Rider. All of us have been <laughs> but bit time. by a Rough Rider. I will tell you, I've gotten probably eight people a Rough Rider at this point. My brother didn't believe me. I told him how much it was, so he heard the price point. He didn't really look at the knife. And guess what? Cut himself. He about chopped off his own thumb. Yep. I was like, dude. Here's the really cool part. It's 15 bucks. Yeah. This yes. is a fixed blade with a full tang. Con full tank constructed fixed blade. 0.14 inches, over an eighth of an inch thick. Yeah, that is a solid little workhorse of a knife. Again, very reminiscent of Kephart, Kephart shape at the top Yeah, for 15 bucks. For 15 yeah, you need a camp knife, this is gonna do it yeah. right there. And a good little sheet too. And it's really pretty too. It, it, it is, it, yeah. it looks fancy, yep. to be honest. Like I love the way that that looks. I wonder how that's gonna look in your, you know, when you use it for like a long time, how it's that wood, handle's gonna so look. It's wood, so it is going to it's gonna change, yeah. it's gonna shape. Mm -hmm. That's if gonna you, look really pretty. If you cool. want a, mm -hmm. a good solid knife to play with a new handle on, to do some, some project work on, it's a good choice. You're not gonna pay much more for a blade blank than you would for that. Blade blank. Blade blank. Blade blank. Um, and that's sharpened and ready to use, so just wrap some taper in the blade, go to town, make something new on it, make a new sheath if you want to. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a, just a good solid knife. Make I, like a I have one of these. I like it. Yep. I like it too. I like it a lot. Okay, that's cool. the fixed blade um, from Rough Rider. And we have one more, and this is one of uh, Molina's favorite little patterns. Oh, it's it. not mine. I don't know why I don't like this one, but I, I love the shape yeah. of it. I really it, like that too. Personal yeah. opinion. Personal opinion. This also is what like a Robert's. traditional worn cliff looks like. Yes, indeed. Yeah, this, this is it. Hit it. So, all knives in the Rough Rider Brown Stag Bone series feature genuine brown bone handles carved to resemble sandbar stag. Uh, they have 440A stainless steel blades with half stops, match strike poles, and swedging, nickel silver slant R bolsters, and the Rough Rider Stars and Bars Shield. Each knife comes with a decorative <coughs> magnetic clasp box. In this case, this Warncliffe has a 2 and a 7, two and a seven eighth inch Warncliffe blade, 1 16th thick, 3 and 5 eighths inches close, and weighs almost 6 ounces. 
What is sambar? So sambar stag is the region in yes. India yes. where most stag always came from until there was a stag embargo in the late 90s, early 2000s. And so no more stag came in. So people had to start yep. doing things that looked like stag, but was not stag. This is actually bone carved to look like antlers. But and that, what's that's the why difference I, in like regular stag and like not and sandbar stag? It's just the area where it came from. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so was it pretty? And the no, it just was more plentiful. Oh. Right. And it had a very definitive look to it because of where it, the animals it came off of. Um, so you used to. You could get a stag knife. It didn't cost quite as much as they do now. But genuine stag nail is a lot more expensive. What are you doing? Stabbing. Testing okay. out his stabbing. Be careful Josh stabbing Westing. with I'm a... Uh, listen to me for half a second, please. Don't... It's... Stabbing with a traditional or a slip joint can be very dangerous. Yes. Because if you go forward with it, it closes on your fingers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm that's not that hard. Well, that's not I'm quite just, as. I'm, this is for everybody. Yeah, that's not quite as bad with a rough rider because it has such good detente. Yeah. But they can still be a little slippy on you. That's a long blade. It's a really long blade. Yeah, that is what a traditional Warncliffe yeah. pattern. Like it, it reminds me of a copper lock, a copperhead. A little bit. It's a little the, bit. And it's yeah. got a very fat, almost coffin like back end of the handle. Yeah. Uh, it's nice. I know, I, I really like it. To me, I like this better than a toothpick. And it reminds me of the same length and very thin blade you get on a toothpick, only with a different handle. I don't know about I like that. that better. I just got my first toothpick, and I'm you pretty partial to it. I, I, I try to get you to carry a toothpick forever. I have never been a big fan of the toothpick pattern, but that I dig. Yep. Let's ask Melina. <laughs> why? It does look cool. I like it. I nope. like it a lot too. Perfectly valid answer. Perfectly valid answer. So this one, this this particular style to me reminds me of like if you were on Little House in the Prairie and you asked Nels Olson for his knife. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with that? I can see that. Right? He just pulls that out of his watch pocket. Oh, sure. And he's got it right there for you. I don't know why. Almost a shopkeeper. Just, yes. Style knife. Yes. Yeah. Uh, That's what he's opening packages with. Right. Because potentially wanted to stab his wife with like, because she was horrible. We have tons of this <laughs> brown stag bone patterns. Yes, we this do. This is probably one of the most, I think there are like 13 different patterns in this. Hugely popular. Yeah. We sell uh, the mess and out of it. It comes with its own box, too. Anyway, <gasps> which one? Rough Rider always brown has really good boxes. Brown stag bone. Brown stag bone. Do you make was, all of the boxes? Uh, I do make most of the boxes. I'm going to look at it. That one's got Teddy Roosevelt and his gang on it. That's right. Same in the background right there. He's Rough Riders right there. Gosh, my eyes are so bad. I actually really would never notice that. Yeah. They're ghosted into the background. The Rough Riders. Very interesting group of people. I need to stop holding things the way that I'm holding them. People from <laughs> everything from the uh, one of the freshman classes at Harvard was involved in that, all the way to uh, blacksmith and cowboys. Choctaw <laughs> Indian. Choctaw Indians. Yes. Everybody signed up for that completely volunteer section yep. of the Army. And he picked the best of the best. And yes, he did. Him down. Kick some butt and led the charges. Yeah, because he, uh, he was, he was, he was, he was interesting. Yeah, favorite thing on the cool table. Guy. Favorite thing on the pick. table. I absolutely cannot. Oh, pick. first thirteen bucks. Oh yeah, yeah. We didn't, we didn't drop the price one. Um, because I already own this, and I've got to pick up a buckshot anyway at some point. That may be it. I'll let you go next. I can't pick. Okay, well then I will. You go ahead. I like the hand feel on this one. It's the you. first time I've really gotten to hold yes. this in my hand, and I like it the looks hand so feel good. On it. All four of those are my favorite. <laughs> all, all four of these? No, yes, it no, was those four. Those, those were the four that were going to be narrowed down. I was hoping y'all were going to pick one of these four, so now it's going to be like left with two. But now I can't choose. What do you choose? Melina sneaks in. Oh, she got the little baby one. Well, there you go. And what do you choose? Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go with this one. You're a sucker for fixed blades. Blade. I do really, really like really fixed are. blades, yeah. but I, I can't. I really like that right there. That's got my attention. Uh, I don't even think I would use this to cut anything. I would just be like, a lot of people "Happy holidays, them. Merry Christmas, Happy no, Holidays, yeah, Merry that's, Christmas." They yeah. collect them each year. We've done everything from um, uh, candy stripe inlay in Rough Rider. Well, we do. I mean, it, the the Christmas knife is a tradition here at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it um, is. And they, they sell quick. I think, I don't know. 
I would like to collect some, like, have traditional as a collection because they're so pretty to look at, but I can't collect things because I like to use them. <laughs> yeah, traditionals also give you, if you're the kind of person that likes to zone out and do things, like if you collect traditionals, you have to take care of them. You do. So you put them up every once in a while, you pull them back out, you clean them up, you look at them, you play with them, you make sure they operate right, you oil them if you need to, mm -hmm. and then you close them back up. I yep. love carrying like as many knives as I can because you never know when it's going to happen. They'll be like, oh, oh, you have a knife? Well, what are you going to do if someone takes that knife? I'm going to be like... I'll bring this one out. What about that one? She then has I have this 17 one. 17 more. <laughs> I've done that. I've gotten to do that like three times. Like, well, what if someone takes your knife? I'm like, I'll pull out this I've one. I've got my backup knife. And this is my baby backup knife. And this is my triple backup knife. Uh, guys, we're brought to you by Smoky Mountain backup. Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. If you're not liking, sharing, and subscribing to these videos, please do on YouTube and on Facebook. If you're not follow us, following us already, please make sure that you are on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Yes, indeed. 108,000 of you follow us on Facebook right now. Probably a little bit more than that. Maybe not right now. Yeah. It was 108.6 last time I looked. That's amazing. That is a lot. We have the Facebook group going on. The SMKW Army is out there. Join it. Hang out with us. We give two things away each week, one on Facebook, one on Instagram. Make sure you're signing up for those giveaways. We do this show live on Thursdays. And who doesn't right like around free noon. stuff, you know? Yeah. Go back, watch the old stuff. It's all out there. It's all good. <sighs> They're all good. Uh, we are headed towards Christmas in a big-time hurry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we and are. So stay tuned because we're going to put up a lot of great stuff that mm. makes great Christmas gifts for your friends and just the knife enthusiast in your life. Uh, John is in the back running the board. Molina is over here to the side making sure we don't goof off way too much. That's Jason. This is Swags. And I'm Andy. And this has been another episode of Guys Talk Knives. Do you remember the Swags report I ruined by trying to spin the knife and it just fell over? Yes. Yes, I do. You can't spin it too fast. Spin it too fast, you get a wobble going. I tried to, no, 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 not even that. I tried to spin it before it even spun. It just fell over. And I was yes. like, mm. that's pretty funny. Yes. So I had to do it again. It was like boo. Like six more times. It was like what? Boo. Like, boo. boo.